Former President Donald Trump expected to fly to New York today to surrender. This here is actually a live picture of his plane that's waiting and ready in Palm Beach, Florida. Mr. Trump is the first former American president indicted, and he is expected in court tomorrow afternoon, followed soon after by a rally for his new presidential bid. Morgan Norwood reports. In just hours, former President Trump expected to arrive in New York one day ahead of his historic arraignment. Donald Trump becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. He's due to surrender at Manhattan Criminal Court on Tuesday. He's gearing up for a, a battle. Um, you know, this is something that obviously we believe is a political persecution. We're ready for this fight, and, and I look forward to moving this thing along as quickly as possible to exonerate him. Sources tell ABC News Trump is facing around two dozen charges, including felonies. We won't know what they are until the indictment is unsealed, but prosecutors had been investigating how Trump accounted for hush money payments to Stormy Daniels weeks before the 2016 election. Hush money payments themselves, not a crime. Falsifying business records to conceal hush money payments, typically a misdemeanor, but can be a felony if it's done in furtherance of or to conceal another crime. That other crime could be a federal campaign finance violation, a state election infraction, or tax crime. Whatever charges the grand jurors decided on, they might not be the only ones Trump faces, since there are other federal and state criminal investigations into possible election tampering, the January 6th insurrection, and his handling of classified documents. Trump is expected to arrive in New York sometime this afternoon and spend the night in his Fifth Avenue apartment before he's driven by motorcade to his arraignment. Once inside, he'll be processed but not handcuffed and walked along the 15th floor corridor into a courtroom where his attorney says he'll plead not guilty. I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse um, with, with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. And there will be no other court proceedings on the 15th floor while Trump is inside. The streets surrounding the courthouse will also be closed after tomorrow's arraignment. Trump will reportedly head back to Mar-a-Lago where he's announced plans to speak. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.